Now, this is a lovely wee caddis button. Now, I'm going to show you to. It's a very simple flight die. Now, basically, this is one, as you can see, this one's got eyes. Uh, and the other doesn't have eyes. I mean, it's up to yourself whether you put eyes on it or not. It's easily uh, fishes as good with and without. Now, this colour combination uh, is probably one of my favourite as well. So, especially for grailing, I've had a lot of grailing on this fly. So, hook choice again, it's um, I would say you know, a lot of stuff that I use. That uh, this hooks are up to yourself, and the river I like this hook especially. It's a nice light wire, it's got a lovely shape, and it hooks really well. It's called the check nymph, in, black, in this case, it's a black nickel version. It's a size 16, though I would say it's more like a, a 14. Now, you can weight them to suit depending on the depth you want to fish. Now, I like this mid water, I don't like it too deep. Uh, if I want it deep, I'll put a bead on front, uh, but in a sort of Free swimming type uh, pupa, I prefer it a wee bit higher. So I use a lighter weight, uh, just a simple fine copper wire. So it is heavy enough to actually get it to the point where you want it to sort of sit. Now what I do is, to weight it, I just simply, obviously the spool of extra fine wire is on the bobbin holder. I start basically putting it on in line with the point of the hook. I just use it like a thread, so basically what I'm doing is winding it on. Taking it down, not all the way, coming back up. And then, usually around about two thirds of the way down, come back up. And that's you forming your shape. We quick look and see how it looks. And then I'm going to go, go down again. Just I've got it in the side so I can see the shape. That's fine, and then break it off. It's very simple. Now, what I would do is I would sit and do like a good half dozen or more, and then I would coat it with a, a varnish or a super glue just to hold it. But I'll leave it at this point. Uh, this, this would seal it, but it's still okay, it'll still be fine. Now, I'm going to use two threads one to tie the body to get the colour. Uh, I'm using a light Cahill 8O Uni. First thing I'm going to do is run the wax through it. First thing I'm going to do is start just at the point of the hook and then using the thread controlling the turns as I wind down to the back of the hook and then I'll come back up. To the other. And again make sure you wax your thread. Now for the body itself I'm using, this is a you can see that it's called Strong and Stretch. Yeah, it's called Strong and Stretch. Uh, you can see about a Chinese here or something on there. It's 0.8 and this is a clear. Uh, basically what it's used in jewellery uh, for like bangles and so on, for beads and what have you. But it works really well. Now you can get finer, as, you can get finer, I think it's 0.5 and you can get heavier. And you get all the colours, there's lots of colours out there. As I say, that's just a clear. Now I'm going to tie it in at the top here, but first thing I'm going to do is just put a slight point in it. Cut it into a fine point. So we we'll wax the thread to give us some grip. Now I'm catching it on my side with the angle cut towards myself. And I'm making sure this is tied in. Making sure that it's nice and tight. Then I'm going to start to stretch it slightly, slowly at first. And stretch it towards the back and on the side of the. I'm going to show you where I'm tying it. I'll just put the device to the side and winding it on the side and down. Stretching it all the time to where I want the body to start. And then I come straight back up. You'll see some of the copper coming through. You, I want that. That's what you're looking for. And now that lifts the colour of the body. You can see there. Now, what I'm going to do as well is wind over. You can either wind over some varnish, in this case, I'm going to wind over some super glue. Just a wee lick of super glue, top and bottom. On the sides. And don't put too much on. And then you stretch as tight as you can and work your way up. 
you want to touch and turns. Whenever it touches the super glue, it will go transparent. Will, you'll see the the body. If it starts to slap near the top. Don't worry too much because uh, you you need a good space at the top here for tying in the dubbing. Now you should be in line with the point of the hook. And we tighten up. Make sure you've got a good few turns in there. A wee slight angle cut on the side. If you can see that, it's just angled so that then when I tighten up on it, it should taper out. And there we are. Now I would sit and do, you could do a few bodies, just sit and do them, tie off at this point. Uh, but what I'm going to do is obviously continue the fly. Now this is a, a UV light bright in yellow. So a tiny bit of the UV, just a wee catches the light. So the top. Just enhances the colour of the fly or the pupa. Stroke it back and make sure you've got a good thorax length. There it sits. Now I'm using this is a uh, wood duck, this is body feathers. Uh, you could use patterns if you haven't got these. All I want is a, enough fibres either side to give impression of legs. So you can pull it out so the tips are lining up. I don't have any fibres there but there's more than six either side so tear them away and then what I like to do separate them, split them in half, off them on the sides. Now you're looking just to the back of the hook or so And then tie them in. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you go, it's coming away from either side of the body. So then what I'm going to do is trim that. Trim it away. Now I've tied this with a, a black thorax as well as uh, a brown and both work. But I'm going to use a black body in this and I'm changing over to a, a uni 8 in black. I'm just going to change the thread, so I'm going to tie over the, the key hill. I'm going to trim away the thread and the uh, waste piece with the black. I'm just going to wax my thread. Give me grip. And there we are. I'm just going to rub, what I'm going to do here is I'll show you, I'm going to push. I'll put the finger and, finger and thumb on the side of the fibres, push them forward and just crease them a wee bit so they, they lay either side of the body. They will naturally do that anyway once they start to you start to fish. Now you could use a like a seals fur, a SLF, now there's a kind of SLF or seals fur type dubbing for the light to give the thorax. I like uh, this is a, a dyed black squirrel dub from Wopsy. Very, it's quite fine. You can use rabbit as well. Rabbit's quite good. So what I'm going to do is just lightly dub this on. And then just take your fingers away from the dubbing and twist. So that it gets very leggy like. If you put your fingers too close to the dubbing, uh, it tightens it up or dampens it down a wee bit. So I'm trying to form legs a wee bit with the, the thorax as well as obviously give the impression of the thorax of the, the pupa. Now give your cell plenty of room near the head. You need a couple of mil to work with up here. Take away your excess. And stroke back any fibres that's going forward. I'm sure there's a layer of thread down there. What I'm going to do is just lightly with the velcro here, just on the top area, especially in the sides. Just make sure your thread's out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is use, go back to my wood duck and get a couple of fibres for the horns. Now again you could use uh, a teal. Uh, a few fibres, bronze mallard is good. Just to give the impression of horns. So you want them round about twice the length of the legs. Now set that in on top. I'm never really that fussy with these, just catch them on top. 
Uh, race the end, I just fold them back. Uh, anyway, the waist there, you can trim away. Again, I'm just going to crease, just put my finger on the top of the, the, the horn, just pull it towards the eye and press. Just lightly, and you'll see how they sit. These are wee eyes that are, you can put on, which is just an island. The island I'm using is this. I bought it, it's called Sea Strike. Uh, it's a £12 nylon, that's a mono. And I've used it for years. Uh, basically, all you need is a pair of tweezers, pointed tweezers, or small eyes. You need about, say, 10 mil or so. Just turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. So, if you've got a pointed pair of tweezers, you may have seen me doing this before. So, you've got round about 4 to 5 mil either side. And then it's setting your flying fire. Uh, what I'm going to do and try and show you what you do is just simply melt the, the nylon towards the tweezers, turn it round, and there we are. Depending on the size of the nymph that you're tying, obviously, the bigger nymph you need to be further down, smaller nymph near the tips. You just give that a second to cool down, to blow it, speed up that. Normally, I keep it on the tweezers so that I can catch, so basically you've got small dumbbell eyes. I'm just going to make sure that I've caught it. A couple of turns just to hold the, the eyes at this point. You want to do like a figure eight through. So I've obviously got two on my side. Let's try and watch your materials. And just what I'm doing is, I'll just show you. See the eyes sitting, so you want them obviously even. Don't want them sitting slightly off. And then we just build up the head with the thread nice and tight. End up in front. If you find there's a wee space at the back of the eyes, now I'll show you what you do. You just get a tiny bit of dubbing. It's onto your thread. What I'm going to do is come back a couple of turns. This, this fills this up. Stroke anything going forward, just draw it back with your fingers. And bring your thread back in front. And there we are. It's a nice wee card, this pattern. It's very simple. It's straight in a wet finish. Trim away your thread. And then just finish off with some clear varnish. Just make sure everything's out of the way. Just between the eyes. Don't be shy, just put it on. Obviously don't put it right into the dressing, just put it round about the, the head area and the eyes. Make sure the eyes clean. I'm just using a bit of wire. That's fine. There we go. It's a simple wee card as part. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and thank you for watching.